Now we're gonna put together the heating element of the extruder uh, parts, which consists of the print head, the heating element with uh, plastic sleeves that go to the heating element, the thermistor with plastic sleeves that go over those wires as well. First thing we need to do is cut our plastic sleeves to the proper length. So we'll push these all the way through to as far down as they can go. You want to measure where you want to cut it. Once you find your spot, have it marked, cut it. And the reason we're cutting this is so you have room at the end where you're going to solder your wire. Putting them side by side so you can get a measurement for your second cut. Okay, once you got those on, I'm going to run it through, heat it in. Just push it through. Once you got the heating element all the way in there and secured in there, you want to push them up against the print head body snug, keeping your rubber protector sleeves here in place as such. So it'll look like this. Next we'll take our thermistor and we'll put the rubber sleeves on it and we're doing this again like the heating element we're measuring how much plastic we're going to need to cover it. Uh, you're roughly going to need just enough to solder onto the end of it. That looks like a good spot there. Cut that piece, measure it with the other side, two even pieces. Then we'll insert them onto the thermistor. Pull the sleeve as far as it'll go. Now we'll take the little glass covered in. You'll find your small hole at the end of your print head and you'll want to carefully place the thermistor inside that hole and same thing you'll want to thin the wires along the side of the print head. Next we'll want to use captain tape to secure the elements in their position. So applying pressure to the tape and continue wrapping all the way around the print head. Now with another strip, we'll go up, up this far and we'll wrap another wind of tape. Again, this is just to keep the wires in place. And it'll look something like this when you're done. So now we're going to be soldering the hot end. You're going to utilize the heating element wires that we inserted earlier. Uh, it doesn't matter which wire goes to which. You want to cut off an inch, inch and a half of the white sheeting to expose the red and black wire inside. You want to prep the wire ends for soldering using proper soldering techniques. And you want to add some shrink tubing to cover it up once you finish soldering. Alright, once you got your joint soldered, Go ahead and slide over your heat shrink tubing and apply some heat with your heat gun. And that's your final product there. So next we're going to solder the 
thermistor. You're gonna utilize one of the connector wires that was provided, red and black with a connector and it looks like this. You're gonna solder the red and black to these two thermistor wires here. It does not matter which you solder to which. And don't forget to add your shrink tubing before you solder. 